In order to build the drawbridge, you have to cut out the templates first. Use the templates to cut the cardboard. You can use a knife. Or you can use a guillotine. For the circles, you should use scissors. Prepare all the materials you need. Assemble the opposite approach span, but gluing together pieces E, C, and both pieces A, as shown. Do the same with the bridge tower and the approach span that is connected to it by using pieces E, C, D, and both pieces F. Stick a piece of the strong sticky tape on one, and of the remaining piece, E, and stick it to the top end of the approach span, by the bridge tower. Check that you can easily flap it up and down. Use the pointy end of the scooter, to prick a hole in either side of the top of the bridge tower. You might use template F, that shows the position of hole 1. Push the scooter through both holes until one end sits in one hole. Mark on the scooter, where it sticks out of the other hole, in order to measure the length that is needed. Cut the scooter at the mark. And insert it between the two holes at the top of the tower. This is pulley 1. Use the pointy end of the remaining piece of the scooter, to break two holes in piece D. You might use template D, that shows the positions of hole 2 and 3. Mark on the remaining piece the distance from piece D to pulley 1. and cut two pieces of this length. Insert one piece in hole 2. It shall go under pulley 1. This is pulley 2. Insert the other piece in hole 3. It shall go over pulley 1. This is pulley 3. Put the three circles B on top of each other and prick a hole in the center through all three pieces. You might use template B, that shows the position of hole 4, or let the children invent a clever method to find the center. Push the remaining piece of the skewer through the center of one circle, and use this to make tall 5. The hole shall be on the same side of the tower as pulley 3. It shall be that high, that circle is just above the bridge deck, but can still rotate freely. Measure a piece of the string, that is one arm span long, and cut it off. Cut the piece into halves. Measure a piece of the skewer, that is 5 centimeters long, and cut it off. This is the winch's axle. Insert this piece in one of the circles, so that it sticks out on one side only. This is the spool of the winch. Take a piece of sticky tape and stick the ends of the two strings on it. Then oil the sticky tape together with the strings around this pendle of this pool, close to the flange. And put a second circle on this pendle as the other flange. Attach the winch to the inside of the tower, by pushing the winch's axle through hall 5. Take the last circle and prick hole 6 close to the circumference. You might use template B.
Insert the last piece of the scooter into hole 6 and attach some glue. This will be the handle of the winch's crank. Attach some glue to the hole in the center of the crank and attach the crank to the free end of the winch's axle. Break two holes in the bridge deck, close to each free corner. You might use template F, that shows the positions of hole 7 and 8. Turn the winch clockwise three full rotations, so that the strings coil around the spool. Take the right hand string, the one that is closest to the edge, and pass it upwards through the opening between pulley 1 and 3, and then over pulley 1. Take the other string, and pass it upwards to, through the opening between pulley 1 and 3, to the left over pulley 3, and under pulley 2, then upwards through the opening between pulley 1 and 2, and over pulley 1. Turn the bridge around and push either string through hall 7 and 8 without crossing the strings. Mark on each string the point where it meets the hole. Then move the bridge span upwards. Make a knot in each string at the marked point. Cut away the part of each string, that is behind the knot. Now, you can test the bridge. You raise it up, by turning the crank clockwise. When you turn the crank counterclockwise, the bridge should move downwards. If it does not move downwards by itself, you have to increase the weight. You can use sticky tape to attach a coin to the bottom of the bridge deck. Or you can use a spring from a ball pen to pull the bridge down. Use your creativity to decorate the bridge. You may print out the paving and glue it on the bridge decks. Finally, you can use your new drawbridge. 